Hi, welcome to the work face. Many of you will have seen my Deco E4 mesh Wi-Fi system review, but many of you will also be looking on the internet, maybe looking on Amazon or other places and thinking, hang on Steve Dog, there's loads of different mesh Wi-Fi systems, many made by TP-Link, many called Deco. So what's the difference? Well, that's a question I was asking myself, so you didn't have to. And what I've done is I've gone and done a little bit of research to find out the differences between Deco E4 and Deco M4. So let's go into those right now. This is going to be quick. Straight off the bat, you'll notice that the E4 looks like that and the M4 looks like that. Yes, they look pretty much identical. But as we all know, with a lot of cars, for example, it's what, under, it's what is under the bonnet that really matters. Well, I've gone through the Deco, the TP-Link De Deco website, and I've analysed all of the specifications. And I can honestly say there's not a lot between them. The M4 is the more powerful setup. It's slightly more expensive. It's got a slightly faster processor. And also... It can download and it can transmit data slightly quicker than the E4 system. The E4 system can transfer data to up to 100 megabits per second, whereas the M4 can go to a gigabit. That's a thousand megabits per second. So it can transfer 10 times as much data. What does all that mean? What it means is basically, if you are doing streaming, 4K um, television, for example, gaming, the E4 with its 100 megabits per second will be more than sufficient for you because a lot of data providers don't provide any more than that anyway. However, if you've got multiple, loads of people, I'm not talking two or three, I'm talking loads of people running... Um, and doing loads of downloading and streaming and things like that, you might have to just ramp it up one, okay, and go for the M4 rather than the E4 to get that gigabit per second download speed. Are there any pros and cons with this? Well, actually, both of them, uh, um, both the systems emit the data in the same way. So they've both got 2.4 and 5 gigahertz transmissions um, so there's no difference there they can both deal with um, interference in the same way no difference there software exactly the same no difference there um, user interface in terms of an app no difference there so the only real noticeable difference is this um, megabit per gigabit per second um, difference it comes down to how much you want to pay at the end of the day the one thing I, oh, I did notice on the internet was they do reckon the E4 can offer, in some instances, a more stable signal. And I think that's probably because at the lower amount that it's transmitting, it just isn't pushing it quite so hard. But either way up, both these systems are great. Which do you go for? Right. I would say nine times out of ten, the E4 system is going to be sufficient. But for an extra 20 or 30 quid and to be forward compatible, if you've got the money in your bank, why not just spend it on the M4 system? You're paying a few quid more, you're getting something that might be a little bit better. But like I say, I use the E4 and it's perfect. It's a great system. You're going to be happy with either of these systems. Simple as that. Take it easy. See you on the Mess Wi-Fi flip side. Yeah.